armed with a small boat and a huge wheel. 26-year-old Amalia Suanya's driving force are these children. Every morning she embarks on a pickup journey, an hour-long trip children, three to five-year-olds, are desperately waiting to take. They are simply going to school. Amalia says she grew up in these man-made reed structures called Uros Islands in Lake Titicaca, one of the world's highest navigable lakes. As a child, her parents were too poor to send her to school in the city. She didn't study until later in life, and it was then she decided to become a teacher and begin the first kindergarten on the lake. I've been helping for a while. They know and trust me. Unafraid, the children move around the fragile vessel, enjoying the ride. I don't fall because I hang on to the boat. For three-year-old Eva, it's her first day of school. I want my little girl to go and learn. Before, the children only stayed at home. But not everything is as swift as it seems. When the motor fails, Amalia rose. It could be two hours before they reach the school located on Amalia's family island called Tupiri Corazon. Amalia is always concerned about safety and the potential for accidents. We need life jackets in a bigger boat. With the sun in the room, it's difficult for the children. For centuries, Peruvians have lived in these floating islands in Lake Titicaca, and they are so poor that they never had access to education until Amalia began creating her program and built a school. Though very poor, her family not only pays for the boat and gasoline, they bought corrugated iron to build a school. The children's parents are too poor to help pay for the costs. The children are able to learn, largely with the help of donations. People send in pencils, books and games. The children are delighted. I can see their development. They can talk with anyone, they ask questions. You can see the difference with those who don't go to school. These indigenous Aymara people are among Peru's poorest. So for these children, the program, however modest, provides an opportunity for a better life. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Lake Titicaca, Puma.